Okay, so I go away for one week. I go on a little bit of a road trip. And when I'm gone, Linkin Park decides to drop their new song. So I get it. I'm late. I see the YouTube comments, but it's here. I'm doing my reaction to Over Each Other by Linkin Park. And I am so excited, man. I was checking my Instagram and Twitter. And anytime I saw something about this song, I'm like, nope, nope, nope. Can't have any spoilers, man. If they're screaming the entire song or if it's like hip hop or if it's something a little bit more ballad like, let's find out. That's all we need for chit chat. So Linkin Park over each other. Great voice, man. Skyscrapers we created on cheeky ground. Love the I'm trying to find my peace. The voice sounds so full through this mix. But you won't let me breathe. And I'm not ever right. All we are is talking over each other. There's nothing underneath. Right, it's it's not North America. Talking over each other. Over each other for okay, cool. John's coming in the second verse. All alone. Under your breath, you say that I was wrong. Oh, the What's going on in this video? This is just a pure Emily song. Yeah, good transition to the final chorus. going on in this video man I have to watch that again <laughs> all right well let's not talk over each other and uh let's talk about the song okay so this was definitely one of the more interesting music videos and songs that i've heard from lincoln park i like what they're doing with the release rollout with these singles we had you know the first track which was mike and then for emily to come in the second verse and then the second song felt very meteora you know kind of similar to faint but this song emily takes the spotlight but even that like the music video felt different it's not like a riot or like a lot of special effects it's a lot more just grounded it's telling a story with a twist too and another thing is representation of emily's sexual orientation that's what i'm gathering too she's made it public and i think it's interesting that lincoln park is expressing themselves in this music video and for having a new member and not being shy about it i think that's what i find kind of encouraging and kind of cool about this is that they're really just kind of saying like this is our new singer and we are so proud to have someone like this in our band and this is a music video where she took the spotlight and she absolutely nailed her part like not even just the the, the song itself but in terms of the actual music video and the acting i was sold i was literally sold with what's going on in the video i was captivated by the music video Anyway, let me break it down through the pros and cons a little bit more. So number one pro is that this song feels quite similar to, um, you know, some of the more ballad -y stuff that they've done. Probably similar to One More Light, which is an album that I need to hear still. But I've heard like the general consensus of that record and it's pretty poppy and it's kind of around this kind of sound. 
and it works well because Emily's vocals are just resounding in especially in the lighter moments where she's letting those vocal runs just power through and she just has a strong cadence so I felt the emotion in her voice and it worked really well with the song pro number two is the music video whether it's the acting the lesbian representation or just different kind of visuals that we're getting here also another thing that i forgot to mention is the international feel to this i don't know what country it is excuse my ignorance maybe it's china but i just feel like it's cool that lincoln park is doing something that's not just usa with this because lincoln park has such a big international audience and they're using that music video to show that just so many elements about this music video i thought were really cool Pro number three is actually the structure to this track. Now, Linkin Park, when they have their singles, they definitely follow the familiar structure of verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus. But I like how they don't repeat ideas too often. Um, with this song, you know, they brought in the drums in the second verse to keep things a little bit interesting. Um, the bridge had a lot of cool transitions before we got into the final chorus. And the final chorus just felt elevated too. You know, they added more oomph to the final chorus to just make it sound stronger towards the end. So a lot of things I like about this song. Let's move on to the cons. And I don't have cons. Now, I will say that this is my least favorite single, but that doesn't mean it's a bad song. I just enjoy the emptiness machine the most and heavy is the crown. But what I like is the variety. We're getting variety, which is something that I always look for in an album. And I know Linkin Park's always been great for that. So yeah, this is just another solid song that shows the variety on the new album from Zero, which comes out November 15th. So I can't wait. But yeah, I'm going to give this one a 7.7. 7. 7.7 out of 10. The music video was awesome. The song was good. Um, I was having a great time with Linkin Park. Can't wait for this record. But that is my thoughts on Over Each Other. I'm curious to know what your thoughts are. So comment down below. Spice up my life. Guys, what'd you think about this song? I'd love to know. Also, if you've gotten to this point of the video and you haven't clicked off, then I appreciate you, man. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. Feel free to leave like during the video. But on that, thank you for tuning in. Till next time. Peace.